the beginning of a very long day for 400 train buffs who wouldn't miss the last train for all the gold in Central. It was 1889 that the first passenger train pulled out of Dunedin bound for Hinden. Just over a hundred years later the train still heads up that same line although they probably didn't have breakfasts like this in those days. Great way to travel if you've got the time and you know, where it's going. Is... <laughs> what do you think about it as a great way to travel? <laughs> I wouldn't want to be eating at this moment. <laughs> I mean, that's part of the romance, isn't it? You can either eat it off your lap or somebody else's. <laughs> this is the way to save rail in New Zealand, there's no doubt about that. It's a wonderful way to see a wonderful part of the country. This is a, a very, very important part of Otago's heritage and New Zealand's heritage, and it's imperative that it be retained. There's nothing quite like it anywhere else in New Zealand, and not only I believe that, but uh, we've been told increasingly by overseas tourists who manage to find it and come on some of our trips that it is quite unique throughout the world. The scenery, particularly of Tyree Gorge, is rather special. If the scenery is special, then the construction of this line must have been doubly so. In places, one step off the edge of the track would see you 70 metres down. Building this part of the line was so slow in the early days it was called the Mile a Year Railway. As we pass over the viaduct, we immediately pass through the Flat Street Tunnel. This was a difficult air section of the line to build, and above the tunnel there is the remains of a construction village. There must have been a collective sigh of relief among the gangs when they finished the gorge section, but for today's rail fans, it was all going by too quickly. First stop, Middlemarch, and a surprise announcement that takes some of the sadness away from the reason for today's trip. This is the last train to Clyde, well, that's what we read, but I can tell you it is not the last train to Middlemarch. I am pleased to announce today that the Dunedin City Council has purchased the line from Wingatui to Middlemarch. It's good news for the enthusiasts who leave the VIPs now. They head back to Dunedin while the last train to Clyde continues heading for its terminal destination. Some of the real train fanatics aren't on board today. They're out to catch the ultimate photo or video of this historic occasion. Train spotters are seen climbing cliffs, running across farmers' paddocks and leapfrogging each other along the road to keep ahead of the last train to Clyde. On board, the passengers are enjoying the slow rattle and clank of the old carriages. This is about, uh, about, about 60 yes. What is it that brings you back? We, we like, like, like train like travel. We like train travel. It makes nostalgia a bit anyway, that you know, all the happy times in childhood were really associated with train trips, holidays and that sort of thing. We are going on holiday and as children were able to run up and down the train where you can't move in a car. The fascination of it, the history, the, when you get off the main road, you see more on the line and you're not running into traffic all the time. And between Otorihua and Alexandra, it's classic central Otago scenery, much of which can't be seen from the road. There are only a few combined road and rail bridges still in use in this country, and one of them is at Alexandra. On schedule, the train makes its destination in Clyde at 2.30, and the truly dedicated stay on board for the return trip. Many won't make it back to their own homes until early tomorrow morning. Central Otago people today said goodbye to a railway line that served them well for almost a century. Most of the long stretch of line linking Alexandra to Dunedin is being ripped up and sold as scrap. Mark Price went along as locals made the most of their last chance to take a ride. It's a crude but effective way of undoing the work of last century's railway builders. The ties are torn out, 300,000 sleepers are being sold off and more than 300 kilometres of railway line are being exported as scrap. Well, I think it's tragic, really. And that's the general feeling among those who scrambled into goods wagons for a last ride. When it was built, the line running inland from Dunedin brought an end to Central Otago's isolation. We got the feeling from the public around Omicow that they wanted to say farewell to the railway line because it was welcomed here with great parties and celebrations so it's just one way of saying farewell to the line and it'll be gone this week. The efforts of locals and train buffs saved a section of line nearest Dunedin but nothing could persuade railways to hang on to the rest. Bridges and viaducts will be left 
but within a few weeks the only way of getting to them will be on foot. Mark Price, One Network News.